Today, I will share how I plan my trades for the second half of 2024. And I'm not trying to make any prediction here as no one knows the exact day or the hour. However, when a big move or turnaround begins, we will be able to recognize what is about to come. My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into the subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. Let me give you a background about divergence before we discuss how I'm going to plan my trade for the second half of 2024. And in the last few weeks of 2021, we could see that we make a study that year of 2022 could be bearish and it turned out to be accurate. And of course, you can visit my past videos I posted at the beginning of 2022, go through those tutorials and why there was a bear in 2022 because of all this divergence that we're seeing throughout the four major indices in 2021. We can see that in Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, and the whole year of 2022, it was bearish. And are we seeing that divergence since the first half of 2024 has concluded? In NASDAQ, it seems like a divergence, uh, but I don't see that in Dow Jones. I don't see that in S&P, and I don't see that in Russell. And first, let me define what is divergence. And in this case, which is a bull market back then in 2021, but we can see that the strength, I'm using the MACD, that it does not match up with the bull. And therefore, for the whole year of 2022, we could see that there was a, it was a bearish year throughout. And since there's no divergence for 2024, for the rest of 2024, likely the market will continue its upward momentum. And how I'm going to plan my trade for the second half of 2024, the strategy is to buy into dips like this. I prepared this on a quarterly chart. We can see a holistic picture of where the NASDAQ is moving. And I've drawn the parallel line and I do a parallel channel. And this would be my target somewhere around 21,000 for NASDAQ. And on this quarterly chart, I usually would do a two trend line. It's what I call the primary uptrend line and secondary uptrend line. And since the trend is generally on the upward momentum, I would likely to buy into dips. And these are all the crucial support line that we're seeing here. And let me just narrow down to the daily chart. I'm going to expand this. And in all time frame, what you can do is that you try to uh, have this two trend line. And what I'm going to do here is let me just narrow down uh, on the daily chart. Now, again, we have to understand since the trend is on upward momentum, the motivation it will be to buy into dips. And what I'm going to do here is that on this daily chart, I'm going to plot two uh, uptrend line. And then this will be my primary. And this could be my secondary uptrend line that I'm seeing here. And I'm trying to find the best fit somewhere around here. And you can see that it rested on all these closing price very nicely. And what my objective, what I'm trying to do here is this. And, and anytime if the market start to retrace down, and this is one crucial support, I may consider buying dips. But of course, if it break below, I may cut loss. And the next support on the daily chart, it could be here, it could be here. I do not know, but this is basically what I'm seeing here before I reach a target of around 21,000 that I'm seeing here. And that is my plan. And before I reach this target, and when you reach your target, something may change based on fundamental. It start to get very reactive and it start to push down. Uh, I may think otherwise. And of course, I will start to also observe the divergence. Is there any divergence? But I'm seeing some danger ahead on this monthly chart. And we could see that this was what we did a study in 
2021 and we can see the bear of 2022. Now on the monthly chart, I could see that there's a divergence across and that was classified as a potential divergence. Why potential divergence? Because I do not see that the market start to cross down. But in time to come, that may happen. Say for example, hypothetically, if NASDAQ reached 21,000 and maybe due to some fundamental turn, say for example, if the uh, CPS start to move up, market got really jittery and start to um, turn around and this guy start to cross down. And this could be a divergence that I'm talking about. If it crossed down, let me just give you one example on the NASDAQ and example on the uh, NASDAQ here. If it start to cross down and this would be I will conclude that as a divergence. And in summary, since that we are still on the uptrend mode as of now, buy on this. And when the market start to talk, we can definitely use divergence to confirm that or other indicators that you may want to use. But personally, as I said earlier, I would also like to confirm it with the fundamental developments. The market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stayed through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.